Welcome to another episode of Beyond Cheers, Detective Gomez Files. I'm your host, Detective Gomez, and today we're talking about courtroom etiquette. Now, just yesterday, a video went viral on the internet of a man who attacked the judge in Las Vegas. He was uh, getting ready to go back to prison. The judge said, you're going back to prison. He went nuts, jumped over where she sits at, and attacked her. Now, you can't, you know, if you're going to be going back to prison, there's a chance you might go back to prison. It's not where you do something like that. You don't you don't attack the judge. Okay. You put yourself in that situation that you're in. The judge didn't do that. And obviously, you know, just because you tell the judge that you think you're a better place in your life, it's up to the judge to decide whether they, they think you are or not. And she decided, you know, that based on his long uh, criminal history, that he was going to probably uh, do the same thing in his life again. And I, she says something here that uh, I think it's time for him to get a taste of something else because she goes, she goes, I just can't deal with that history. And then chaos, the chaos erupted and uh, Redden, the thing, he over the bench and attacked her. And it's just sad. His name is actually Deombre De Redden, 30, was sentenced after he pleaded guilty to attempted battery and then he jumped over the branch, jumped over the bench and attacked the judge. And you got to ask yourself, was it worth it? Was it worth it, jumping over a bench and attacking a judge? A judge. Just, you know, now you've got more charges on you. So if you're you're going to go back to prison for a little bit, you're going to go back probably two or three times as long. It was just an attempted battery. So it was just an attempted assault. So who knows? Maybe you might have gone back to prison for six months or a year. Now you're looking at maybe 10 or 20 years. Just because you want to attack the judge and you're 30 years old. What's it worth it? It just, you know, I just don't see what, what, Think what, what he was thinking, you know, what, was it worth it in the end to go and attack a judge? Her name is Judge Mary K. Holtis. And uh, she's a judge in, in his court and he d denied him probation. And he attacked her and, uh, you know, the police had to get involved. The, the bailiffs had to get involved. And it's a lot of work for them to get involved because, you know, when somebody tells you you're going to go back to prison, you know, it's not something you want to hear based on something you did that you caused. So it's not worth it. You know, the, the judge was 62 years old. She was injured and being monitored uh, based on what a court spokesman said. A court marshal was also injured and taken to the hospital where he believed to be in stable condition. But at the end of the day, now you got more charges pending. What was it worth? You know, if you're gonna go to a, uh, to a courtroom, you know, even for a traffic ticket, respect the judge. Ju I've seen judges make really good decisions and bad decisions, but you still got to respect the judge. I've, I've seen them sometimes, you know, as long as you go in and be respectful, yes, your honor, no, your honor. Um, and sometimes, you know, they can see a little remorse in, in you. They're willing to give you second chances. I've seen some courses, cases in the past where uh, I saw someone get arrested for aggravated robbery, pointing a gun at somebody. They got probation. It's possible. But it all depends on how your behavior when you get in the courtroom. You've got to act right. If you don't act right in courtroom, the judge is going to say this guy, this person, male or female, is not ready for society to be outside in public anymore. We need to lock them up. That's what they're going to do. So if you happen to go to court for something, think about those things. You know, when you go to court, you know, and your attorney's going to tell you, hey, by the way, you know, you got to say guilty, not guilty, no contest, whatever it may be, but try to respect the courtroom. Try to respect the judge. You have to respect the judge because they're going to decide where you will be, you know, on, on this particular case. Well, they, 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 might, they might say, they might find you guilty and give you a fine, tell you to go home. You know, yes or no, sir. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. But they may they may put you in prison. You just never know what they're going to do. And you got a prosecutor there also. So, sadly to say, um, this uh, guy here in uh, De De Deombre De De Redden is probably going to probably go to prison a little bit longer than he thought he was. And thought he won't be getting out anytime soon because he's, un you know, the, the last thing he, he, he likes to, you know, to testify sometimes. He says, just don't piss off the judge. Once you piss off the judge, you're done. And he's definitely pissed off the judge and the whole court and all the world to see him acting that way in the courtroom. And at the end of the day, you know, I don't think, you know, he'll be sitting in prison thinking about his decisions that particular day, why he did that. And, you know, maybe he'll be remorseful and say he's sorry the next day, but it's too late. To actually, it's already been done. That's all over the Internet. And 
now there's you know it's back you know it, you know when you go to a courtroom now they you go to walk through a scanner check your purse all these things like this now do it for security purposes but here's another decision where somebody may just decide that he was going to use violence against somebody and that was going to be it no one's going to stop it and he did it where to get him put in jail now he's got to suffer the consequences for what he did for the bad decision he made so think about those things you know you know when you go into court all i got to say respect the judge respect them you know you may not like them but at the end of the day they're they're there to you know, judge from you right or wrong all right take care of yourself and i'll see you next time on beyond cheaters the detective bill mess files and we also want to thank our sponsor juan hernandez he's a pi attorney in the dallas fourth area if you happen to get in a car accident you get injured call him at 214-900-0000 and of course you can always visit me at detectivegomez.com for any of your investigation services take care I'll see you.